Going live. Do, 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 do. It says we're live. All right. Hello, chat. Apparently we're live. Let us know if you can hear us. Uh, I'm Jello. Normally I'm on another channel called Jello Apocalypse. I assume most people here are here from Twitter, but I saw at least some one person specifically was subscribed to this. Uh, this used to be my backup channel about four or five years ago. Uh, I got two rapid um, copyright strikes for Bacano Abridged. So I made a backup channel in case my whole thing exploded. And uh, now we're converting it to a VOD channel, which is what we were doing before Twitch shot me in the foot for nothing. So now I'm a Twitch criminal and I'm here and we're trying. We're gonna do a much bigger stream tomorrow. It's gonna be another Name That Tune stream. I'm gonna spend tonight doing the assets for that. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I'll introduce this game in a second, but uh, let's uh, let's introduce people. Piff, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Piff. I am a frog detective enthusiast. Um, I feel like I may have introduced you to this, but yes, maybe you've you heard did. of it before. Fine. Um, and uh, just a nice dude to be around. So says other people. I'm still, you know, on the fence about that, but I'll I'll see. I'll see. All right, uh, Glass, you next. Hello, I am Glass Rose. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, and uh, I believe for the first time ever on a stream, as of this minute, I have Speyer. Hello. Speyer likes Hello. frogs, so that's the, that's the reasoning. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, uh, and obviously, chat, we're doing our best figuring out this new streaming website. So let us know if anyone sounds way too quiet, way too loud, etc. all the usual stuff. Uh, this is Frog Detective. This is the third one. I've actually been waiting for this game pretty excitedly for a while. Uh, two years ago when I was recovering from Epithet, uh, I did a thing called Look Ma No Hands, which both Piff and Glass were a part of. And Piff finished his game early uh, and that got edited into the American Robot game video. So to kill a little extra time, he showed me Frog Detective, which is just, it's got such a sense about it that I'm sure you will pick up on immediately. Um, Frog Detective is a detective. He goes to places and solves crimes. And these games are very charming and cute. On the right, you can see Lobster Cop, who is the other recurring character. That's about all the intro you need. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. Do I know when the Fire Emblem VODs will go up? No, we have uploaded most of the old VODs to this channel. We're gonna start getting them rolling once we've got like the materials for re-kitting this. So like a banner, we're gonna do thumbnails, blah, 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 blah. I've been busy and out of town the last couple weeks. So soonish. Uh, yeah, all right, let's get started. Okay, this is just tutorial. This is the creator, so we don't need to, uh... Let's put an alligator down. Put a shoe on the alligator. Good book? Yep. <laughs> and uh, we are going to read this one aloud, so uh, I don't really remember Mary. It's been over a year, so Glass, you be Mary. <laughs> hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After the detective, that's you. Solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know. Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress, it'll be exactly like what happened. That's the end of the second game. This is the first game. I don't know what that is. 
Oh, the phone is ringing. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the frog detective. <laughs> hey, hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of late, like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know it's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly, like a manager almost. Yeah! So I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? <laughs> yes, it's my job to solve mysteries! <laughs> ha, obviously, I was a bit dramatic. Classic supervisor. <laughs> okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, oh, boo. I know, boomer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass and head next to the door and head over to the train station. There's a ticket for you there. It'll take you on a little trip. Cute! Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. The whole game is like this. Sorry, glass. Surprise. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Oh no, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. God, my magnifying glass. Ooh. Okay, so the frog detective heads to the train station, and it's all like so cool. So there's like a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It's so messed up. Actually tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, actually you're actually out of state now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Uh, chat, please leave reviews of uh, Glass's acting. Only if they're positive. <laughs> if you're negative, you're a hater and leave. <laughs> Worm! Worm. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Piff, you were supervisor. <laughs> Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. I don't... don't you think that's a little weird? Eh, not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you would be there. Now who's the weird one? <laughs> Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about the, this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I can't. <laughs> Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it is possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it in he, on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. <gasps> As you know, the terrain of cowboy country is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Ooh, is it a horse? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> why would you say that? <laughs> It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. 
you being serious? Horses are valued <laughs> members of society. <laughs> It'd be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up of you to even say that. Right. Sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order, then? A scooter, of course. Sick! It should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. <laughs> Please stop questioning my choices. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun, too. I will. Alright, see ya! <laughs> My very own scooter. Sick! Got a scooter. Oh, left shift, okay. Ooh. Oh, this- Whoa! <laughs> A little sick tricky for you there. This is very different from the gameplay of the first two <laughs> games. This is lovely. It controls pretty well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Super Superheart presents! A game by Worm Club. With assistance from Viz Screen. Vic Screen. Sorry. And soundtrack by Dan Golding. Whee! Starring Lobster Cup. Susie Rabbit. Sherman and the Bandits. Frog Detective. <laughs> He's built fourth. Plus a special guest. I love that you ride around on one of those public, like, lime e scooters. <laughs> <laughs> The idea of scootering up a sandy hill is so awful. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. honestly really fun to ride around on. <laughs> it looks it looks great tumbleweed oh i believe glass was lobster cop last time we played this hey lobster cop like? i think so yeah he he only oh. showed up briefly in the first two games hey lobster oh, cop i'm here to help solve the mystery right on time detective I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope! Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sitting here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Ooh. This town was thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff! Yeah, I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. <laughs> For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway. I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They connected, the they contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me! Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here. To facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. 
the supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I need your help? No. Me neither. As it turns out, I didn't need your help. Huh? The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... The new sheriff of Cowboy County! Sheriff Mason Mole. Wow! Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No. Uh, Piff or Spare, either you feeling this guy? Yeah. <laughs> no. Hmm? No, you can't. Is there something you need help with? Oh, sorry. Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. <laughs> Crime mystery. <laughs> Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. <laughs> Town hats. Can you- I love this voice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate? All the hats in town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. <laughs> Get to work, please. <laughs> well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Got a notebook. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and the method. Okay. It's an easy task for a rookie like you. All you need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A meal? Yes, detective. Keep up. I am very hungry boy, and I will need sustenance in order to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, Lobster Cop. I don't need it. Good luck, Detective. All right. Maybe someone wrote something in here. Case three. Mystery of the Missing Hats. Lobster Cop. Motive? There is no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. Crime scene map, criminal, da 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 da. Hey, it's Lobster Cop, number one best detective. I am very jealous. So tall. Achievement unlocked, made it to town. Okay. Oh, detective, motive? Boredom? No, I am never bored, and I hate crime. Needs to be number one. Notes, always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. <laughs> oh, the barrel's gone. Okay. Hello. Yep. That's a person. 
she's so cute. You wanna be this one, Spare? <laughs> sure. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Uh, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I... <laughs> You're the best, thanks. Also, uh, Piff, I think you've got a little mic feedback coming from your headphones. Oh, excuse me. I need you to help me break into this bank. Huh? I will not! Huh? Dude, you are already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor! Oh, so now you're changing the story? Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Damn. <laughs> She's sassy. Excuse me, Susie Rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Why? <laughs> because you always flake on your promises. Hmm? I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. <laughs> Why are you breaking in, anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job! Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get in on- I can't get into my vault. Oh! So, you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help, typical. I- I just mean- Breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard, I heard, oh my goodness, I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. <laughs> Ugh. That's so annoying! I have a piece of evidence in, that is vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that! Ah, so now you'll help me. Hmm, I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top of it that said, Crime Map, Eat After Reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I asked you some questions? The vault. So, let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Uh, someone in chat was also like, I miss the frog detective voice. <laughs> Me too, I love this character. <laughs> oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, Detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. <laughs> Surely one of those outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The... Bank rules. It's my vault! What are they gonna do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll give me a fake ID. What? No! <laughs> Suit yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help... <laughs> yes, thank you, detective! I'll wait right here. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? <laughs> About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. 
Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, that's all yours. That sounds like a good deal. I'll do my best. Okay. Susie. <laughs> Motive? She maybe misplaced the hats in a vault. I don't know. Needs fake ID. Yikes! Short stature, shorter temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules. Is the are the stickers on your notebook supposed to be Trogdor? No, I just thought it would this was the first one I saw and then I saw a boot, but it does <laughs> oh, look I like Trogdor. It. Hello. It's Craig. <laughs> uh I'll be this guy since I don't just want to be frog detective. If you're here from the evil secret society, please leave me alone. I am not interested in joining. What's the evil secret society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah, where are your credentials? Uh, well, I am a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you ha do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can we? <laughs> then why can't we open everybody's mail? Mm, not so public, if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. Uh, to be honest with you, I said earlier I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh, the Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? I'm getting so much spit in my mouth. <laughs> um, well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise. I'll give you that. Uh, do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. Spoilers. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry. No, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective! You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. Uh, the saloon has a bunch of photos, but I, I don't want to send in the wrong ones and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. Oh, they're so clever that they figured me out right away, but that's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, to say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats? Eh, not that I'm aware of. 
But that's the thing, Detective. These societies run deep. I've barely scratched the surface of what I, there is to know. They run everything, everywhere you've ever been, everything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. Mm, you'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? <laughs> like... Is the forum also a secret society? I've never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret <laughs> societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> Motive? Wanted, okay. Does not buy my detective disguise, drat. <laughs> There are worms here. Can I talk to them? There are worms. I can't talk to them. Zero out of ten. Aww. Uh, can I? This looks interactable, but it doesn't seem to let me. Maybe it's just supposed to be in glass. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's only around the ink. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. <laughs> How's your new position here? What? The job. You enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm. Strange, you must have a familiar face. No. <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> so, how did you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? <laughs> that's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya! <laughs> God, Piff, I love your performance as this character. The motive is really funny. Yeah. Probably a secret back there. Oh, it's the jail. Wonder if I can open this. Oh, a bug. <laughs> a cool. I can't pick it up or anything. A cool bug. It's Wendy. Who oh, wants dice? Who picks it? <laughs> Glass, would you like to? Uh, 
Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. You sound like Marcel the Shell. <laughs> we have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, it is time we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh, um. Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies. Such as? We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either be satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. <laughs> What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our <laughs> satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you're entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted in Cowboy General General Goods Store. <laughs> <laughs> it's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I am not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I am here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in future, just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation, sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy talking to taking, excuse me, over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ah, that's great. I am not at all. <laughs> I've only been running this shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? So, did you, uh, you just started running the shop? How's it all going? I wish I could see I'm nailing it, but honestly, it doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? You see these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine's just a silly photo. This looks like one of the photographs you get when you defeat a ghost in Luigi's mansion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't gotten the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted these ones. 
Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never really my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. <laughs> I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone who wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Mm, here, take this photo of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Got a photo. Can I... Uh, no, that was the only question. Hello. Hi, Savvy. I didn't want to interrupt things. How's it... How, how are you doing? Pretty good. Playing Frog Detective 3. Nice. <laughs> Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime. <laughs> Especially <laughs> not me. <laughs> you know, he technically carries around a photo of everyone he's met so far. It's not that weird. Those are drawings. <laughs> oh, fair point. <laughs> no, they're, they're photos. We're looking for hats. I mean, right now we're looking for some other items, but the hats in this town are missing, so we have to find them. Mm -hmm. You're savvy. This character looks like it's voiced by you. <laughs> sure. It's Rhonda Dynamite. <laughs> they come from far and wide to face off the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Radio weapon, frog. It is time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You can't waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own this scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street. It's pronounced strangely. 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Hmm. Did you just give me your full address? Though I couldn't spell it for the life of me based <laughs> off that pronunciation. Yes. And yes. <laughs> you literally just met me. <laughs> Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. <laughs> the detective does not have a great point. <laughs> Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live, because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip them up. Tell them they're ugly. Please, no! I'm an outlaw, detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh! It was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have just given the job to anyone. He must be quite... Uh, ugh, he must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? 
I am a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one is going to mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Anyway, I'll ask you about something that's not that. How do you intend to become the sheriff? <laughs> By force, I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I've run that dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm. I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had a paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies. Just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind? <laughs> what kind of work do you do? Hmm. Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificate, birth certificate, IDs, you know it. <laughs> Could you forge a certificate? Could you forge a th th that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Do you mind if... Uh, no? Okay. Alright, well I need to... I need to get an ID that... Oh, hello. <laughs> Jump scare. Rhonda Dynamite. Motive? I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hat. It's just a hunch though. Try to imaginate. It's fine. She wants to fight me. Knows my full address. Okay. I like that the photo is from a high, a low angle, as if <laughs> you were talking to her from below. Scooters. Yeah. Okay. Are you streaming, by the way? Yeah. Did I'm on you. Oh, no, you I'm on YouTube. Oh. I was really hopeful there for a second. Haha. Uh -huh. A little, a little guy. Snake. Oh my God, Wiggles. Or worm. Top quality wiggles. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Whoa, sick trick, dude. I did it. <laughs> Such beautiful flowers. Very spiky looking, too. Oh, I can't take it. I was hoping I could take it. I did find the secret sick tricky location though. Another one. Okay. I assume I'll need those at some point. You're quite the detective. You can tell because of my scooting. You're almost detective enough to be number two detective. I'm number two. Wait! He's doing his best. <laughs> A painter. Oh. Well, G9. Pistol. Well, it isn't the frog of the hour. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you down a little. I'm sorry, I'll just talk all the way back here. No, that's fine. No, it's okay, I'll be over here. <laughs> 
What is it? The frog or the owl? <laughs> Sorry, I'm destroying. <laughs> I'm destroying some uh, DMs so I don't have to keep seeing them. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. Forty-five minutes if you're speedy. <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you detect. It just appears. I don't even see it change. <laughs> to oh, work. geez. <laughs> Sorry. Have That's we okay. met? Not in person, no. I sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me, finest artist in all of cowboy country and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories came to me so vis visually. Yeah. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. Who wrote this plaster? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's, um, uh, well, you see, it's clearly, a. Uh... who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on ban on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just gonna grab... Mm -hmm. <laughs> just gonna add Oz <laughs> really quick. <laughs> oh, hi, Bo. When did you hop in? Uh, just when this conversation started. <laughs> Welcome. Well, this is very Hello? important. <laughs> okay. All right. You were right to click it. <laughs> <laughs> when it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cracking sound, and the screen just said, You just got a curse on <laughs> from this website. <laughs> Ever since I've lost my... <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. The witch was re it's hard to read this from so far away. Really sorry. <laughs> I, I turned you down. You don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No! Well, how do you know the curse on you is your artistic talents? Well, I've been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know a subject that it, uh, peaks. Hurts my in, peaks my interest. Every day I found one, and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. It's probably the photo. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think that this is the end of my painting career. Artists do be like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Mm, let me think. Maybe you could draw me. <laughs> I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. <laughs> what are, what are you doing? I'll just anytime literally anyone goes, can you draw me? <laughs> if you could find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think there might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. <laughs> Your head is a weird shape. I know this. Oh. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. 
thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. Can I ask you the same thing as before? Go ahead. Oh, here. Here you go. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see it? Here you go. Wow! This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it! <laughs> what? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. <laughs> it seems like I was probably, it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. <laughs> I'm really brave doesn't seem like anything I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there and I'll paint something immediately. Aww. And voila! Wow! It's beautiful! Thank you, I'm very proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, or th throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Motive? Maybe hats are hard to paint? Needs a muse. No, I got it. And some internet safety lessons. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. All right. There's, there was one other question I think I needed to ask. Oh, them. I need to move back then. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead! Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the 100th visitor and I won 100,000 money. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my bank account information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax! Well, how else are they gonna give me the prize money? That seems really dangerous! You're just jealous because I won a hundred thousand money. I already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow. I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Idiot. <laughs> um. There is another person behind the counter. I know. I want to give this uh, portrait, though. Ah. Uh. So, you're not going to believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Feels like a rude thing to do. You don't really get to <laughs> hang shit in other people's houses. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm, I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Oh, good. Thanks for so much for getting me this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. A gun. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. 
Oh! A whole ladder? It seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so, thanks! I got an entire ladder! Oh, and it's not that one. I figured it would be. <laughs> How's she gonna reach the items at the top shelf? I have extendo arms. I already have many ladders. How Shoots else am ladders? I going to play shoots and ladders? Bow. Yep. Yep. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? If I can cover up most of the name, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Bowie. Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, uh, hear about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. You look like a turnip. Why's that? <laughs> well, I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. <laughs> and cooked them up in my stew. <laughs> Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? <laughs> you went! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Everyone come get your hat stew! <laughs> I'm, I'm just pulling you like detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Banter and Bonnie around here. Oh, is she a bat? I only just yeah, realized she is. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a nice nickname. I'm literally joking. <laughs> They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh! <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah! I get it now. Uh, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head's a weird shape. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally joking. <laughs> My head's completely normal, you freak. <laughs> oh, uh, mine too. <laughs> I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, lol. Okay, lol. Hey, detective? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all! Why are we yelling? It's a joke! <laughs> LOL! Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke! Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, my job here isn't just to run the saloon, I'm also a keen historian from Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the world very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? <laughs> gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. Sure, I will. Thanks. Oh, well. Oh, I just got the gravely thing. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you some questions? <laughs> Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? <laughs> Legend has it that they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. What the fuck was this about? You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. <laughs> I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, uh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Oh, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL. I wish. It's worse. Artists. <laughs> Artists? <laughs> Creative tops. Literally everyone in here but Piff looks at each other. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day, creating things and finding themselves. I'm 
miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is... Stew. Cat stew? Huh? <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry. I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for around here. Lure them here with the stew and keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients, though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh, and around these parts, there's these really delicious edible cactus flowers. Can you collect four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. I'll pour it directly into your pockets. Sounds like a good deal. That is normally where stew is contained. <laughs> All right, let's look at the ghost photos. I mean, you think it would be the one in front of the graveyard, right? Carrots money. She's very cute. Mm -hmm. A practical joke, perhaps? Carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. She's joking! Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. <laughs> Hates creativity. <laughs> this one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning? You ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has a, such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? <laughs> that that didn't come out right. LOL. <laughs> That's my ex-husband. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a pretty personal question, Detective. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I, I call him Mark. I think that photo's over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It's got nice energy. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's me. Oh, there you are. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. Oh, snap. That's old snappy fresh. It's me. <laughs> He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. New bow discord name. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Oh, Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. <laughs> okay, thanks. There's your next character. Oh, snappy fresh. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Rushes but... to change my nickname, sorry. <laughs> Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah! Why? Legend has it, this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, no, yeah. This guy was a sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff, loved by all. So, not haunted? Nope, sorry. All good. Someone, this channel's alive? Yeah, this used to be the backup channel for the main Jello Apocalypse channel, 
we're slowly converting it into a VOD channel for my Twitch, which got taken down for quote unquote fraud. I did not commit fraud, but Twitch is bad and will not give me my channel back. So I'm moving if to I'm YouTube. Not, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it a bit of a monkey's paw thing where the reason it got taken down was because you were trying to do this VOD thing. Yes. And they thought that account fuckery was happening. Yeah, we're really mad. Yeah, Who's this no, Animal Crossing bullshit. character? Is this a ghost? <laughs> I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was real weird and messy. Fun, though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Yeah. Freddy fish sound effect. <coughs> Wait, was this one here before? I, I don't remember. It has a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There is a kindness to him, but also... A great mystery. Someone in chat says, oh, that's the dog from Chicory. It's a game where you go around painting the world. It's very cute. Okay. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'll be glad to get rid of it. Ow. <laughs> great. Did you just eat my photo? <laughs> yes. All right. You do you. Oh, I thought I could buy carrots here. Go to the carrots. Oh. Literally wouldn't have even seen those. Can I buy these carrots? Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. You may as take as many as you need. Thanks. Got some carrots. The real frog detective. I'm really amused by the term <laughs> carrot money. <laughs> <laughs> They're not carrot money, specifically carrots money, plural. <laughs> Is it just me or does the guy in the photo look like Northern Lion? And I get that and yes, I see exactly what you mean. All right, it looks, it looks like I need gardening gloves or something. Voice. Oh, right. Yeah, you've spoken to him. Yeah. Um, so I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? You can take him over. He was me. That's okay, then. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one... This one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. I Can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. 
But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. It seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. <laughs> for you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe! <laughs> Now I can knock the flowers off of the cacti. Perfect. <laughs> it's a mole fly. Oh, I was wondering, the they were like implying we knew the mole in the other games. I think he's just a face that's popped out of the ground. I think I thought he was a blobfish. Hello. Who wants to be dusty? Dusty. <laughs> May I? Yeah. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen head is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. I can't skip through Ooh. your dialogue. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? <laughs> That'll show him. Oh, sorry. How do I choose? <laughs> Siv responded to the, like, click for a photo of a buff worm with that one gif of the girl going like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> it's the end of here. <laughs> How do I charge the solar power? And more, I'm certain. <laughs> sorry. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I'm just a lonely poet, trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think about a lot. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ha ha. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet, and I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taken forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anybody. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm. Okay. Ahem. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune. Say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. The smiles shine brighter when we've been at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. Now Law's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. Hmm. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks. But I think, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, go ahead. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far. Maybe you can help me finish it? Sure. 
Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. Ah, uh, eat a snack. From his sack. From his sack. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure. Then headed off. To get some more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's me to get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, and then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock. <laughs> oh, these are both <laughs> excellent. Chat, do you have a preference between Nessie and the goblin? I feel like this is more thematically. He saw a goblin on the rock. Trying to see what the latency is like as well. It's odd. Uh, the latency kind of grows over time. That's no good. Good to know, but that's no good. <laughs> that's no good. Goblin? Goblin All right. Yikes. That was like a full minute. Good to know. Okay. <laughs> he saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay. Sure. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover. Uh, the thing had gone without a trace. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect. A perfect poem. I can't wait to recite this in front of a crowd. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day... I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I, I do, but every time I start a new project, I like to new, use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. <laughs> I think I see old Snappy Fresh in the background there. Excellent. Motive? Wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Just need someone to talk to, I think. Poet, icon, legend, friend. Not great at budgeting. Yeah, let me, uh... Let me try. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scooting. I'm scooting and shooting. Uh, let me try stream settings. Ah, okay. I have it as normal latency. I think for the game tomorrow, I will have to do ultra low latency because that was way too much. That at that rate, chat will not even be able to play. This game's too cute. Yeah, these are fun. You can get all three of them for like $13 right now, and I would recommend it. They're, they're all a, good. They're all a good time. Hello, Savvy again. <laughs> I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. Hmm, sounds boring. But thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. <laughs> we can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Give me a fake ID, nerd. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? 
I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure. Anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing! I need a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? <laughs> nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. All right. Oh, that's, fuck, that's you. <laughs> all right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. This is like your take on, I don't know if you saw the Spirit of the Century games, but this sounds like you doing an impression of Marksley Booth. I have not actually seen those. It's Christian's character. Oh, that looks bad. Okay. It's an Aram game, right? Yeah, he ran it. I should get to watching that then. Mind if I ask you some questions? Here you go. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So here is your fake ID. Yes! This rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. She just goes in through the window and doesn't use the ID. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! Thanks, detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, nah, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into the bank. No, no, this is like a good version of Rango. <laughs> they should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Got a crime map. A crime map. Crime. And I got and I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Okay. Crime map. All right. Oh, there's a lot of flowers. Okay. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. Slots. Yeah, honestly, could be Spayer again, other than that little moment. That's the first we've heard of you in like 40 minutes. <laughs> and she's probably I'll done. Take it. Wow. Look at you. Huh? And look at all this. <laughs> Your jumper. Your vacant smile. Those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I am a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. <laughs> I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. <laughs> <laughs> you have the authority to steal my heart. I'm going to DM this to Yam. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Very stupid. I think she'll find it charming. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh. What? Because of your good looks. Huh? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. <laughs> it was like you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, <laughs> I was just joking. Maybe not the time for, for my killer sense of humor. The hat's right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any do you have any leads? 
who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, uh, I, I never get tired of characters and things who are just like, job, crime. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into, into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time, because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been an, a, a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words to the, whole, the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? This guy. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious. Really, you know me. Are all the uh, <laughs> are all the Frog Detective games Western themes, or does the setting change? It changes. The first one's on an island. The second one is in a ghost town, like like a cartoon haunted area town. And this one's a desert. I believe this is going to be the final game. I do not. I do not. Not yet. <laughs> a wink. <laughs> anyway. I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Clop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? He helped. Nope. Figures. Do you... All right. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. That's where I keep the bodies. No business of mine. I'm just here for these hats. I heard there was gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. <laughs> I think anything would suit your complexion. <laughs> I love Sherman. <laughs> but anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang. Have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No. That sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade for you a, uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. I thought that about it. Can dig up the bodies. <laughs> Thank you. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? You sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade it for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice <laughs> dinner. Just <laughs> you and I. <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. <laughs> I'd go on a date with Sherman. He's a snappy dresser. <laughs> Thank you for letting me play the character that likes frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Motive? I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. <sighs> Those eyes. <laughs> Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No! I refuse to be charmed by a suspect. Well, I hope he didn't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spoon. What uh, if that was the shovel? <laughs> he just gives you a spoon. This is what we call a prison shovel. Still have to give those carrots over. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I was waiting until I got the, um, what I assume are gonna be gloves. Whoa, all right. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective. How'd you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. <laughs> That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. This is what Rouge the Bat should look like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like a cross between her and the cat from uh, Fifel Goes West. Fievel. Fievel. Okay. Whoa. I suppose Whoa. you also need some flowers. Yeah, I can't pick the flowers until I get a uh, a thing that yeah, allows me right. to... Yeah, I gotta use the shovel for something. Hey, a well. <gasps> hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me! Ex <laughs> yeah, just what I was thinking. Point and click adventures be like. <laughs> okay. Will streams be saved? Uh, a key! Yoink. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be saved. My rule is I save any stream that's like a voiced playthrough. People are so careless nowadays. Ever hear of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Key. Hmm. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me! Perfect! All right. Let's look for a shovel place. I guess it, you know, I was about to be like, I didn't think I could get in the graveyard because it looked locked, but I guess I have a key now, don't I? <laughs> The key fits here, uh, the key fits in here just fine. But I'll wait till Lobster Cop gives me the okay to open it. What are you up to, Lobster Cop? Landon. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Uh, I'm still looking. What were they again? I'm... Sorry, I'm just gonna okay. skip. I'm just gonna skim this. No! A tool. I think you have everything but the stew. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose you can go back and ask if the stew's ready. No, I need <laughs> Maybe flowers. She need... Maybe she doesn't uh, need no. those flowers. Carrot stew. It's carrots in hot water. Do you Maybe think... since you know you need the flowers, you can then pick them. No, I already tried. No! no! Maybe you have to find Snappy Fresh. <laughs> I don't know if Snappy Fresh is going to be available. Dang. I, and by that I mean I don't know if he's in this game or if he's single. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, yeah, I still need something to protect my delicate frog fingers. Can I go back? Yeah, maybe there's... Maybe there's just something hidden out here in the wilds. Oh, all right. Guess I'm going Ooh. this way now. <laughs> what? Slide, slide, slide. Jump, jump. This is the well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But there's another path. To go a little higher. Ow. No. Hmm. It's... Still hurts. What do I need to protect my delicate frog fingers? Hmm. It looks like I've pretty much seen the whole map. I love the worms. What, what items have you got left? Shovel 
shovel seems like if shovel's not the tool, then it's the only lead I've got. Right. Oh, there they are. Oh. Oh. There oh, they're just there. there. There's a little picture. Ooh, of these them. could come in handy. <laughs> Get it? Handy gloves. Excuse me. Yes, sheriff. Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? <coughs> not yet. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> That's not suspicious. Oh, I'm gonna get framed. <gasps> I'm gonna get framed for digging oh, no. into the church and taking the hats. Oh, trust this I love his little portrait. <laughs> He's small, like, even in the portrait. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. We. They're sure nice about giving us a scooter. I'm gonna get all the cactus flowers. Whoa. I'm a 100% I'm frog detective. Whoa. That's impossible. Yeah, there are six achievements. I don't know. Though, in fairness, I've only gotten one of them, so... And I feel like we're 80% of the way through the game. <laughs> I I sent Yam the uh, Sherman, you have the authority to steal my heart. And she responds, adorable, but it ain't stealing if it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm gonna go the other way because it's easier. Now you can put the gloves back and not be framed. That would be smart. should be enough flowers. No. More. I love these guys. They're in every game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again, I highly recommend playing the other two Frog Detective games. Yes. I think I like the island one a little better than... Oh, I can't take it. Okay. I think I like the island one a little better than the wizard one. This one is real solid so far, though. It might be my favorite. Yeah. I've just been flower picking. Right. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add into the stew. I really wish you told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. <laughs> Did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them. No probalo. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. For Lobster Cop, I 
have to make sure I can't gift this stew to my new boyfriend. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. You went on a date with Sherman. <laughs> Nothing right now, apparently. We'll go on a date later. After the case. Right now, you gotta be professional. It's a tarantula. Quick, get your bug net out. Hello. Be phone lights. I believe I did. I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be. We'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel? I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Yeah, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. I love how detective is a higher rank than cop. <laughs> you go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick uh, business to attend to. I can do that. I'll uh, take the meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Close <laughs> it directly into his mouth like a baby bird. Well, here goes nothing. Click. Got some graves. This one is a different color. One of them was really one. <gasps> According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. Wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. We're gonna throw it in the jail behind that curtain. Let's see, that's what all the hats are. I mean, yes, that hidden jail. Great! I found the hats. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. I got the hats. Oh, look, and there's some Doritos in the ground. Monch. That looks great. Oh, everyone's gathered round. Hey, gang. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. <laughs> Please read the poem. Hello. I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I'm nervous. Please do not laugh. <laughs> I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. Six is now playing bard trauma. <laughs> he, finishes, he finished quickly, smart and sure, and headed off to get some more. <laughs> I made it rhyme. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went, back to bed.
What are you doing, frog detective? <laughs> he's copying Bonnie. He can't clap, he's holding his magnifying glass. You'll shatter it. Thank you for the poem. The next order of business. Crime solved. <gasps> I am pleased to announce I have recovered... I'll stop you right there, detective. What? Why is he stopping us? No way. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. <gasps> I've worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of the sheriff. Everyone likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. <laughs> Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me! Quiet, please, detective. Mm -hmm. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Oh, yeah, no, I did notice that. Oh. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this game... <clears throat> excuse me, of this crime. What? And the, <laughs> and the hat stealing monster of Cowboy County. It's none other than the second best investigator. Frog Detective! <gasps> no way. Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! No! This is a mistake! <laughs> I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! <laughs> I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, Detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It is a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. This is hilarious, actually. <laughs> Weird head shape. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm, that's a good point. You haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? <laughs> that's less of an idea and more of an <laughs> ominous concept? <laughs> I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. <laughs> For punishment of crime. No! Piff, this is one of the funniest performances <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> <sighs> An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct the bad room at once. Already made it. <laughs> it is in my office. Oh. Well, in that case, Detective... I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, sad face. Oh. No, frog detective. This is tragic. Loading. Oh, he's frowning. <laughs> bad room. Oh, no. No. We cut forward a year. This is just the start of a Yakuza game. <laughs> oh my god. Piff, Piff is playing all of them. Cut to HD bread eating. <laughs> I love this comment. I love how all the characters are built like those thick ass erasers that don't work and are shaped like various no. things. No! Bad ending? No. This can't be the end! Too long. <laughs> so here I go. 
No! 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 <laughs> Not frog cues! <laughs> Special <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, sure, I'm a no. I feel like she'd be upset. You're having yours to credit. There's some time left on the song. The following credit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's one of the funniest jokes I've ever seen. <laughs> Credits are from the sixth season, eleventh episode of Degrassi High. To be the best, so what comes now? Can't remember not doing that. Still going. Maybe I might. Looks so sad. No, Frog Detective doesn't deserve this. With. <laughs> Garbage, Garbage man. man. Oh, the stunt coordinators did a really good job on that particular episode of Degrassi. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor first assistant director. They spelled his name wrong. <laughs> oh, key hair. It's like key a grip. <laughs> Key grip, I know, I knew. I don't think I've ever seen key hair before. Gaffer? Yeah. Yep. Like gaffer's Grips tape. Gaffers. Oh. Man, Bill, whoever is named Bill McMillan sounds like such like a 80s movie villain where he's trying to burn down your family's house in order to build a no. mall on it. He's the sad, the sad remix of the frog detective theme. No. <laughs> well, you have a laptop. Could be worse. His blog. To my loyal frog blog readers, it's hour number one of my time in the bad room. <laughs> I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. But if you are reading... Everyone saw the call-out post. <laughs> thank you. Mask off. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts, though I must say I am not sure if I'll have much to write about in here. Thank you for reading, Frog Detective. Oh, who's reading that? It's Mystery <gasps> Monkey! Mystery Monkey! I think this was you, Piff. Oh, jeez. I say this like I have... Oh, actually, these streams it's are terrible. safe. Terrible! I think, I think it was just a normal man voice. I can't believe this. <laughs> Things have changed. I think Mo was glass. <laughs> what is going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog blog post, and I was so excited to see how 
detective solved the mystery of cowboy country. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, I'm sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work. I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I have to solve the mystery myself. He's doing it. It's mystery uh, monkey. What? Oh shit. Uh, oh oh shit. <gasps> yes. He's transforming. Is he just gonna be holding the mic? Is that all that's gonna change? Okay, no. He's oh, he's got a hat. Cool Sherlock hat. Okay. He has got different outfits. This game is fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have really laughed if all that happened was he was holding a magnifying glass. <laughs> Look after the lab, Mo. I'm coming back. A I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective innocent. You have sweet moves. <laughs> Henshin. <laughs> A little later. A little later. Come in. Oh boy. I guess this was me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? I'm su Hi, Supervisor. <laughs> My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone while back in the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. <laughs> Likewise, I realize this is highly unusual. I'm here about one of our your detectives. Uh, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Investigator Iguana? The inv invisible incredible. Sandy Moth the incredible Sandy Moth Pie? P I? <laughs> no, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course. Our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I send my two top investigators to help over in cow Cowboy Country. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over a Cowboy Country. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a, it's a setup? The story doesn't add up. I know that the frog detective would never do something so horrible as to steal the town's hats. <laughs> well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know. But it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff... Mason Mole and Venton. The idea that jail isn't a concept in this <laughs> universe is so funny to me. Mason Mole. That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen them around before. Just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of scary guy hanging around Ma uh, Martin's Island back when we were there investigating the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. I didn't even... He didn't even say hi. When he <laughs> saw the photo in, in the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ass, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. Cello, these have to be videos. No, we're, we're not really enhancing the experience. These games are just funny and charming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since we're clearly entering Act 2, I'm going to take... Monkey! Achievement <laughs> unlocked! Monkey! <laughs> yes. All right. 
uh, I'm gonna post that off my clipboard really quick. Uh, I'm gonna pee since we're entering Act Two. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll also be right back. All right. This is gonna be quite a delay, but hello, chat. Hello, chat. Yeah. Hi. It's real piss hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'd suggest Sounds you take this up. If you if you want to participate in real piss hours, take this opportunity to go and piss, but be sure to do it in a receptacle that is designed for such things, namely a toilet bowl. This has been your daily <laughs> this has been your daily <laughs> PSA letting you know that you should piss in toilets. <laughs> This is rancid. I'm gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the new get hydrated bot. I am back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Two bots, one for dehydration and one for unhydration. No. You're looking hydrated. I assume this is lobster. Looking hydrated, bud. <laughs> I shouldn't be snooping in Lobster Cop's office unless I really need to. I forgot I was the monkey for a second. It is a monkey. <laughs> Clue detecting powder. <laughs> How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take a look at for clues. Aww. Oh my. <laughs> I'm not, I'm oh, not doing kind of powder. I've got to stop taking low hanging fruit. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Handprint? Yeah. <laughs> That's not Frog Detective's fork hand. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> okay. <gasps> it looks fine, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm just. I'm just a. I'm just a childish man. It's fine. This is powder. Oh, okay. It's the same. We're, we're just detecting clues. Hmm. Yeah, look at the feats. Follow the feats. I like the thing in chat wow. blow on the DS screen. <laughs> I, you know, I, I it is blow on the DS screen. That's definitely what this is supposed to be. I legitimately would not have thought to, there were more foot trails for some reason, and I have no excuse for that. <laughs> they floated here. <laughs> Why? What is this path? <laughs> like, they just took a wide Hey, controls. Huh? It couldn't be. <clears throat> Lobster cop looks like a cog from Toontown. <laughs> God, I love clue detecting powder. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? A copy of the detective's notebook? Lobster Cop and Mason Mole? A note. It reads. <laughs> Hello, Lobster Cop, it's me. Your bestie forever, Mason Moe. I've done what you asked. It wasn't easy to trail the detectives unnoticed. But I think I did a great job. I fear that your s suspicions are correct. And that Frog Detective is on the right track to over taking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights in how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough as the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. 
It's devious and mean and not very nice. If you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. This can't be true. Lobster Cop? The number one best detective? A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to the cowboy country. There has to it has to be a terrible misjudgment. <laughs> <laughs> when you walking. Oh no. When you walking. War of two pip. There are three piffs. <laughs> Uh, there <laughs> are there are three buttons. <laughs> a new hand touches the beacon. Do do you do you, do you want the monkey jello? <laughs> um sure. Um can you do his voice one more time? I want to differentiate it from <laughs> I just, I just it's just it. you? Howdy, folks. Okay. Howdy, folks. It's Sherman. Oh. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? I, this is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all of our hats. A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. I can't go that on a date a with a criminal. It's just not me. <laughs> Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no law, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Sure, we all saw the photo. Those those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. No, you're mis- <laughs> Oh, that's you, sorry. Oh, no, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing. <laughs> Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Why is Jello Mystery Monkey now? Because p we have a tag along and both of them are pet. <laughs> 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 um, and I'm sure we're going to confront our old friend of the mole eventually. <laughs> so. Who's also pet. Not and so a much. Showdown. Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. That was... How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where frog detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in bad room at the back of the sheriff's office. I love bad room. <laughs> if you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thank oh, no. Thanks for your help, bandits. I no, you were outlaws. You were right. I'm just so used to whenever the camera flipping over, it's the detective. My bad. Oh, sleeping. Whoa. <laughs> Still section. Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in Bad Room, or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out! 
What? Mr. Imanku, we, we have proof you've been framed. I was framed? I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask. But it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out doing a good job in solving mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. <laughs> well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call the town meeting. Mason Mo. <laughs> Mason Mo. Glass. glass. Do mute. And away from the computer. Here no. Man. Here, Bo, you take over Lobster Cop for a second, okay. since you only have one character. What is the meaning of this? Only oh, yeah, I got to call a town meeting. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat-stealing case. But it, it's closed. I solved it. Glass is back. Okay. <laughs> is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? I love that he didn't see the supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. Wait. How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? No. <gasps> <gasps> Huh, what? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. It was just a normal drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, <laughs> I found your secret drawer. <laughs> I found the- <laughs> God, this game's really funny. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. <laughs> I'm so charmed by your performance. <laughs> Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. What? Why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs a shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never... Oh, but you did! Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <gasps> <gasps> no, I... No, that's not... I... Oh, sad cop. Oh! <laughs> this is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. I just noticed these are star lights. It's very cute. <laughs> it's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You were so methodical in your case solving. You would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it. Passed it on to you. Just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. 
Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mall was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. <laughs> I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. <laughs> Once I had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. <laughs> I am a suit. <laughs> I am I'm assumed to ashamed. ashamed. There you go. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. <laughs> <laughs> How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're sitting around trapped? Nice. Lobsters. Oh man, Frog Detective does a better job taking down the prison industrial complex than Wendell and Wilde did. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Lobster Cop Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society <laughs> doesn't have strategies in place to deal with such things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power wi in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Bull, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. <laughs> we deserve that. <laughs> I think an appropriate cause of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps con contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. <laughs> That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I give I gave Lobster Cop the gun. <laughs> okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to Detective? Yes. <laughs> I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, Detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great Posty and right some of the wrongs I have done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured that you will never have a late 
parcel again. Oh, you gotta play a character with this voice in some way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. I'm Frog Detective. Say, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After impeccable it detective work in th on this case, and really pleased to announce the number one best detective, congratulations to... Mystery Monkey. <laughs> Mystery <No>. Monkey. <laughs> Oh, no. Wow. Congratulations, Mystery Monkey. Aww. What an achievement. I'm Mystery Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't that believe it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. It's glass again. Oh, sorry. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great! What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective! Again! This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and Lobster Posty? Posty Mason Mole? Yeah. You're invited too. Loading! When you walk in. Yay, dance yeah. party! Yeah! Cut a fucking rug. A game by Worm Club! Cram! Cram! Cram in the stream! Worm, cram. We're dancing. <laughs> Crime yeah. isn't real. <laughs> Good game. Aww, he danced it with Sherman. I find it, <laughs> yeah, I find it endlessly entertaining that they legitimately did a, f a fairly okay job at putting forward like, hey, prison's kind of dumb. We should do rehabilitation. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Frog Detective was invented by Grace Bruxner. I made you and I can destroy you. Grace. I can't wait for the rest of the credits of that season six episode of Degrassi. Oh my God. Yeah, this is my favorite Frog Detective game. The other two are worth playing. Oh, neat. Wow. We did, did it. it. We did it. Two weeks <gasps> later. <gasps> Time <stop. gasps> Wow. Just like the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The stream's over now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Well, the picture's been added to the wall. Picture's been added to the wall. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? You can be him again, Pev. Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday! Thanks so much! I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I can't crack. But Just... you're number one best detective! I know. But this one's a doozy. Can you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> look at oh, look at his cases. <laughs> he just put his <laughs> hey, detective. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mystery Monkey Forty Nine. Good to see you, Frog Detective Zero Three. What? Just a joke. Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog detective one, 
Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? How do you feel with with the 48 other mystery monkeys? How do you think I feel? <laughs> How do you think I feel with 48 other... Hmm, <laughs> that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information in the other room, just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do! <laughs> Oh, is it a birthday party? <gasps> oh, I, I bet you're right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one's my favorite. Oh, his faces are pasted oh, over face all of just... them. <laughs> oh. Ghost. Ghost. Ooh. What a ghost. It's cool, B. The case information is in the other room. I said this line. Okay, I just wanted to see if there was more dialogue. That's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> the, the idea that they just did this for every photo in the office. Monsters. Uh, Surprise! Surprise! Wow! What's everyone doing here? I don't remember. What? Yeah, uh, Bo, you go. Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. And then, uh, I guess just look at our order in Discord and just go along the, go up from there. So Glass, Savvy, Me, and Loop, if more characters talk that we don't already have assigned. So Glass, you would be next. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you! Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you never heard a ghost. <laughs> we heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you! It worked! <laughs> oh, it's Koala. Oh. Uh, this is actually Speyer again. Speyer already had Susie. <laughs> uh <laughs> That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. Oh, that's invisible. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on the Wizwet Bay. <laughs> Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? I don't remember who Mo is. Glass. Glass. Oh. Open it up. <gasps> yeah. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Wait, what is this? Easy. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's easy, detective. That's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Oh well, would you look at that! It's a hat that fits! <laughs> oh, Thank you for playing Frog Detective! Smile. Love making these games for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Is the rest of the credits. Hell yeah. <laughs> Lovely game. Here's some jelly. Our latest toast. Oh, it's, it's, it's Discovery Channel. Oh. Discovery Channel. Celebrating our latest potion. Hey, we're, we're cel celebrating Craig's acceptance in the Ghost Spotters League. Yay! <laughs> Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth TM. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross! <laughs> oh. 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 Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. So, hey, oh, this is just pistol. That's pistol. 
That was Piff, I think. Oh. So I'm yelling for so how do you make a muse for the next time to, oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading. <laughs> I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. From Rhonda Denmit. I don't know who finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. We're not the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> My first day of cowboy school. Mwah. Dusty. <laughs> Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, Koala. Yeah, these are just characters from the whole trilogy. Oh my goodness. So many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third. Too busy, Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary. Hug. Hello? I broke my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Sent from my phone. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. Finally met my hero, Lobster Co- I mean, Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's been delightful. Frog Detective is a great time. <laughs> also, hello, Aaron. Hi. The end. Welcome to the end. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, Aram oh. twist at the end of this game. I was the Frog Detective. <laughs> Aram is Aram is actually like the um, the usher who sweeps up the popcorn at the end of the movie. <laughs> You're still here? What are you doing? Yeah. Go home. What are you doing? Go home. Get, get on with your lives. <laughs> this isn't a Marvel movie. Get out. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, there's still three achievements I don't have, but they're all hidden, so I don't know what they would be. Ooh. Don't worry. I'll, I'll view global achievements. Okay. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> one of them is called Kiss. I want to see. If Meet I... the legendary band, Kiss. <laughs> if I continue, do I like continue from the end or do I go back to the town? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's no good. That's all right. We'll leave those as a mystery for future players. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching Frog Detective. Thank you, delightful amount of friends, for being here. Um, tomorrow at 4 p.m. PST, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be attempting another... I'm just going to pick this up so it doesn't ring. Um, I'm going to be attempting another Name That Tune stream. We have done them in the past. They are player versus player versus chat games where I play 20 second clips of songs from things and whoever names it first gets a point. They are done no, in a way right. where <laughs> they are for charity. Um, to, uh, we've done video games and musicals and such in the past and anime openings and cartoon openings. Tomorrow, uh, we are doing memes uh, and viral internet songs as the guessing game. I'm going to try some latency shit so that it is more accessible uh, and you can respond in less than a minute, I would hope. Um, but yeah, it's a good time. We've got some noted meme heads uh, playing. Um, Gianni <laughs> noted Mach meme head. Gianni I was about to say Johnny. <laughs> Gianni Metragrano is going to be there. Um, Luke Correa. Uh, um, Justice Washington, who voices Howie in Epithet Erased. Um, there's actually a good amount of people who have not been in one before. Gianni has, but, uh, yeah. 
Also, Aloha is going to be there, and he and Gianni can continue their hilarious beef with each other <laughs> during these games. All right. Uh, yeah. There's no one to raid, because this isn't Twitch. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.